Hi, welcome back to Okra Hamster. Previously, I demonstrated how to connect the hard drives to the Synology Disk Station 413J, a 4 bay NAS drive. So now the next step is the software, the Disk Station Manager. There are a few ways. So first thing I'll need to do was plug the NAS drive into my network. And then on my computer, I'll just ask this, the website find.synology.com, and I can use the web assistant. The other two ways are either use the, the CD that came in a box, so here's an example was on the CD. You have Linux, Mac, Windows, and quite a number of user guides and quick start guides. The thing is that a lot of the applications on here, like the Distation Manager or the uh, Support Assistant, Synology Assistant, is pretty much an old build because it's only as late as, as when it was printed onto the CD. So what I would actually recommend is to just go to the Synology website. In your support section, there's a download center you can just choose your type, your model, and you just download the Synology Assistant. And besides downloading Synology Assistant, I also download the Disk Station Manager right here. So these are the two main things you need right now. So I've already placed the, both files on my computer. I'm just gonna run the Synology Assistant right now. Then launch the app and open. So it's gonna do a scan of my network to see what it finds. And I'd like to take this time to talk about what happens when you first power on the Synology. The power light, it's a blue circular light. It'll be blinking. So it's, that's fine. It's just the initial boot up process. After it boots up, the blue LED should be solid. And the bay indicators, which are re represented by the green LEDs, each bay should be a solid green bar too. All right, so I found my disk station not installed. So I'm going to first connect to it. And now I was going to say, okay, well, it's time to install the Disk Station Manager. And hit next. I'm going to choose that file, that other one I downloaded. This should be my desktop. Synology. Right here. Next. Then specify a new password. You can give your server a name. I would recommend not using the just the default name disk station because you never know when you'll purchase a second disk station. I'm just gonna give the model number. And the reason I bought the Synology is specifically because I want their Synology hybrid RAID. So I'm gonna hit install. The power LED solid blue, each of the four bays solid green. Now I'm gonna log in. Great. Now, because this is the first time this boot up process with these new drives, it will need to create the volume, and this will take quite some time. The hard drives I have in here are four three terabyte uh, Western Digital Red hard drives. To access the menu system on the Synology, simply just click on the upper left corner. So we have the control panel, file station, backup restore, just about everything we need. After I finish building the volume, now it begins a very long process of data scrubbing. Once the file creation finishes, I can begin using the NAS drive. It's just that simple. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.